Hello, and welcome to the Virginia Cooperative Extension Plant Clinic, all about veggies. These plant clinics are sponsored by the Virginia Cooperative Extension Program of Virginia's two land-grant universities, Virginia Tech and Virginia State University. So my name is Susan McCracken, and I'm going to be your moderator for tonight. Now, this evening, we'll start our clinic with Bug Watch. So Heather, this yeah. week, our Bug Watch is the ever-pleasant onion maggots. Yes. These are insects that I absolutely hate running into. Uh, what can you tell us about them? So onion maggots spend the winter in the ground. They overwinter there. Adults emerge in the spring and can range for up to a mile in search of host plants. So even if you don't have them now, no one is immune. The female adults lay their eggs at the base of the stem. And when the, the eggs hatch and you have the larva, they, they feed on the root of the plant which obviously for root crops such as onions, leeks, and garlic, it's, it's devastating. It can cause a total crop loss. The pictures here are the, the various life forms of the onion maggots, uh, the pupa, which overwinter, then you can see the larva and anything that has the word maggot in it, I just hate. So these are, these are pretty nasty guys. I think they're in an onion, maybe a garlic in this picture, and then the adult fly. One really interesting thing about the onion maggots is they're attracted to bright yellow. So if you want to see if you have them, put a bright yellow index card near your plants and the, they will kind of flock to it. So you can, you can see if you have them. Ways to control the, the onion maggot. A lot of things are similar to other pests we have. Um, rotate the crops to keep the population low. I do everything on a three-year cycle where I rotate through the garden. If you plant in late May, um, it might help because the soil temperatures can be high enough to kill the eggs. Cover recently planted seedlings with, with floating row covers. Those will, kind of, those will protect the plants from actually having the adults land on them and lay their, or lay their eggs. Beetles and nematodes are natural predators of the onion maggots. You can use pesticides, but make sure that you're not killing the, the natural predators that you already have in your garden. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, this um, was the least fun I've ever had researching a garden topic, I have to say. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't envy you the job of do, <laughs> doing that one. Find additional resources, including a lot of great articles, weed profiles, and more information. Visit fairfaxgardening.org. Now, we've been hosting all of these plant clinics since the summer of 2020, and every one of them was recorded. And so we have a whole library of recordings on our VCE Fairfax County YouTube site. So go there and visit. In addition to ours, you can see all of the Lunch and Lawn series. We've done, you know, a fall and a spring series for Lunch and Lawn and all of the garden uh, Zone 7 Garden series. A lot of great speakers, a lot of great topics, a lot of interesting videos that you can watch. So we hope that we'll see you at another program, and we appreciate you being with us tonight. Have a good evening.